Hello families, my name is Vanessa Giamagnani and I'm going to be teaching our section of third and fourth grade wet on wet watercolor. I'm very much looking forward to this class. I love painting in every form and wet on wet watercolor is so special. Um, it is special because of the process that goes behind it. It is special because of the originality of each of the colors and the depth which with, with which we have to learn and come to know these original colors. With our palette in third and fourth grade, we have red, vermilion, lemon yellow, golden yellow, aquamarine, and Prussian blue. And so we have access to a wider array of colors than we did in the previous two grades, um, but we still don't have green and we still don't have purple. And if you were to buy a watercolor palette, it would have these colors in it. And so the depth with which we get to know and learn these colors um, is very deep. And I really love wet on wet watercolor for that reason. Um, so in third and fourth grade, I am going to be working with the developmental curriculum that we have in our classes. And so most times in third and fourth grade, your child, if they're in main lesson or expanded curriculum, will likely be painting a bit with their teacher. And so I will be in touch with all of the teachers to make sure that we're not painting the exact same things or telling the exact same stories. Um, but I will really be uh, an addition or a puzzle piece that will help to round out and add to the already created curriculum with main lesson and expanded curriculum. So if your children, if your child is in both, they will be getting um, just an array of things and not the same things. So um, in third and fourth grade, like I said, we'll be using these six colors. There will be times where I tell a story and then we paint together. And then there will be times where we're painting while I'm telling a story together. So I will reintroduce the materials, our friend Tippy and Tippy's swimming pool and Tippy's beach towel and all of Tippy's color friends. And we will re-meet the colors and their friends in their secondary ways and their groups um, and what happens when we mix all these different colors together and we will also be working with stories that will add to uh, where the third and fourth graders are in their development so um, I have some examples in third grade you begin painting um, with the creation myths and so um, these are some things I might work with some Native American stories and depending on where all the children are in the class, taking indigenous people's stories from those different areas um, and painting an image from those stories. Um, it will very much be in a live class and, and really what this whole class will be about is the process of painting and this spark and light of curiosity and experimentation when it comes to art. Um, instead of looking at an outcome and trying to paint to that outcome, we are going to be in the present moment living and breathing with our painting, um, not expecting perfection, but just being a part of the process, knowing that whichever way it goes, it's going to be okay. Um, and one of my favorite quotes is that in your first thousand paintings, you're not making a painting, you're making a painter. And so we're really going to be making painters in class. So I have some examples of some third grade paintings that I've done this year. Um, here is uh, a wheat field. Here is an example of blending lots of different colors together to make various landscapes far and close, a starry night. Uh, fourth grade, there is an animal's block, so I've got a wolf howling at the moon. And really just getting to know your children and finding what do they like and telling stories about the things that they like so that they're engaged. In fourth grade, the Norse myths are a part 
of the curriculum. So this is the Norse seaside. So lifting is a process that we learn here. This is, uh, the, these are a couple of flax plants. And so we have access to a huge array of colors um, because we're working with these six colors. And here is a little uh, sheep field where we lifted out some fluffy sheep. This one's really far away. Um, so I am very much looking forward to this class, to telling stories um, and getting all of our exciting uh, inspiration onto pages and being really excited about the things that we create um, through a process. So I look forward to meeting you all soon.